This time we did it completely the other way around. We were able to do these four installed shows actually at, uh, at the Alva showroom to introduce basically the new material to the audience and see how they would react and also like calibrate us. And so it's a very comforting feeling to um, being warmed up and then going to the studio and play the songs. <laughs> Hello Noble viewers, it's Guthrie here. I have a pathological fear of camera lenses, as some of you may be aware. And I have no script, so the following stream of consciousness should be interesting, if nothing else. running at me, screaming expletives and saying that I had ran over her car with the truck. What happened is that I actually brushed the side of her car with a tire on the truck, but it led to an incident where I was being shaken down in a parking lot by her and her two sisters who were just screaming and yelling at me with these <laughs> Texas accents. And I ended up having to give them just like, you know, $150 just to get out of there without having the police call. It was just insane moment. And I, I described it to a friend of mine. Uh, I said, uh, you know, this, this incredible weird thing happened to me. And she goes, that girl was crazy pants. just for fun just leave open strings or whatever or just play some random sh and just record it that way and and the funny thing again i shouldn't i should have just left it open because it became a thing yeah i, I, I heard it, it sounded so terrible yeah. and the song is already has kind of a punk element exactly, to it anyway exactly, yeah. and he does a really good bad guitar solo yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so does he <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. read about this incident which occurred somewhere in Kentucky in 1876 where basically large lumps of red meat were seen to fall from the sky over quite a large area. I don't want to spoil too much of it. I recommend that you kind of go online and read about an incident which understandably came to be known as the Kentucky Meat Shower. <laughs> 